Monica Eichen Murphy. I lost my husband, Michael Patrick Eichen, uh, on 9-11. That morning was like every other morning. We did the same thing every day. And um, at about 9 o'clock, I get a phone call from him stating everything's fine, everything, you know, turn on the TV. I'm like, what? So he called me back. And then the next thing you know, um, he says, people are jumping out of windows. So he said, I have to go. Uh, we never got any um, remains. He kind of went to work one day and never came out with, you know, never found the ring, which we had an inscription in it. We had a detailed picture of it and never found that. We didn't find a wallet, a card, a picture, zero, nothing was ever found of his and of him or of his belongings, which is kind of weird. It was like he just went to work one day and never came back and disappeared, you know. Um, and it was really hard kind of, kind of relating to the fact that he was never coming home which is why I started working on the memorial right away, making sure we had a place for them to go and a proper place that this was sacred and hallowed ground. The majority of remains were found there, and the, you know, a quarter of the remains have not been found. They, they found a lot of charred fragments and um, bones and things that were very badly burned. And de you know, so they took those and they said, we'll put them in proper storage we thought the best place years ago was to put them below ground with the medical examiner's office, totally isolated from the exhibit space, um, behind a wall. No one will know unless they know what it is. They're not going to know. It's not going to be, you know, something that people can gawk at or, you know, only family members will know it's kind of there because it's behind something. And it doesn't have any visuals. I'm hoping he is with the medical examiner's office in that trailer and they're being preserved properly. and. And someday, you know, if I get that call, I'll be happy knowing he was in that memorial museum, the place that we created for them, um, and, and being taken care of properly. So it, it'll be nice if I one day do find him and that he was there, because that'll make me feel good that he's now in this sacred and hallowed space and he's being well taken care of and, you know, with the others who are there with him. And, you know, then be able to take him home one day, maybe finally.